In this tutorial, I'll make an image into a jigsaw puzzle with parts of the uh, jigsaw laid out over the image. Now GIMP has a filter which we can use to uh, get this effect. So I'll close this off and open GIMP. Now we go to our file and I'll open our file. Now I'll, I'll use the recent uh, open file because it's already listed for me. I'll click on it and open it up. Now I go to layers and I create a new layer. Now in this case I'll make it a white background. It saves me going back to the paint bucket fill tool and etc. So I'll fill it with white. Now I go to filters, render, patterns and this is where the jigsaw puzzle a layover is. We open it up. Now it's it states that you can give it a bevel and highlight the uh, the cutouts of the overlay, but for some reason it doesn't work. Now I'm using uh, uh, I'm using GIMP 2.7, so it may be a bug in there. So anyway, I'll just change the uh, the cutouts to a curvature, which gives it a bit more appeal, and I'll drop this down to uh, to four instead of having it five five. All the rest, but you can leave them as they as the default settings as I stated with my version of 2.7 GIMP it won't do the highlight so we've got to work it around another way. We click OK and GIMP does places the uh, jigsaw puzzle on top of the white background. Now we go to edit and I copy. That copies the whole white screen of the jigsaw puzzle. Now I don't need it anymore, I've finished with it, it's done its little job so I drop it down in the waste bin Now I go to layers and I create a layer mask, add a layer mask, white full opacity which is the default setting and add the white layer mask. Now I go back to edit and I paste what I uh, copied into the on the clipboard back in on into GIMP and it sits above the uh, the background image and the background um, layer mask. Now to anchor that floating layer into that uh, layer mask you hit this little icon here which is anchor the floating layer it places it on top now I don't know whether you can see it on the screen but it barely shows the uh, the cutout but that transport the uh, the cutout is laid there now we go to our uh, we're in that particular uh, background layer the layer mask now we go to our fuzzy select tool and we select somewhere on on the uh, in those cutouts. You can see there it's cut it out. Now we swing over to our image by clicking on it and it gives you the white border to tell it's active. I go up to edit and I cut it out. Now I go back to edit and I paste it back in. It gives me a floating layer and once again I make a I anchor the floating layer into this uh, into a new layer by clicking this icon here. It makes it a new layer. Now I go over to my move tool and I move that little cutout away from where it was. So I move it up round about there somewhere. Now I go over to my rotation tool and rotate that a fraction just to give it the appearance that it's been laid onto the, onto the uh, jigsaw board. Now I go to filters, light and shadow and add a drop shadow. The dialog pops up and so I, I'll offset the X by about 20. That gives it a fair amount on this image. If you're using a smaller size image, well, it'll probably be a different size. But this gives it a fair drop shadow on that particular cutout. So I'll go to OK. and give you that drop shadow which gives it a more highlighted effect around the, the cut out of the jigsaw. Now it's a matter of swinging backwards and forwards. We go back to our layer mask and activate it. Go to our a fuzzy select tool and select another section of the image. That part there. Now we've got to swing back to our image. We click on the image once again which activates the image. Now I can go and cut it out. I cut it out 
I repost it in there and it becomes a floating layer. Once again, I click on the create a new layer. I go to my move tool and then move it away from where it was cut out. And now I go to my rotation tool, just rotate it a bit, OK. And then I go up to filters and I only need to repeat the filter. I don't have to go back and do everything again. I just ask it to repeat the drop shadow. All the settings are the same. And it goes through and puts in the drop shadow. And once again, I come down to uh, my layer mask, activate it again by clicking on the layer mask. Go to my fuzzy select tool. Once again, select uh, part of the image. Let's see, I picked part of that garden there. Now it's selected, you can see the marching ants. Now I go back on the image and then I go and cut it out and then return and paste it back in. Floating layer, make it a layer with that icon. Go to the move tool and just move it somewhere else on the image. Uh, move it. Uh, I'll move it over here because it seems to be clashing with the other other parts of the uh, the flower or the trees. I go to my rotation tool and give it a bit of a rotation, a little bit opposite to what the other one was. Okay. And then once again, I go to the filter and repeat the drop shadow. Now I come back to my. Uh, Layer mask, activate it once again by clicking on it. Go to my fuzzy select tool. As you can see, it's just a matter of rocking backwards and forwards. I'll choose that part there. Now I go back onto the image, which activates the image. Now I can cut it out. Go to edit and cut. I go back and edit and I paste it back in. Once again it's a floating layer, make it a layer, clicking on the layer icon, go to my move tool and then move it somewhere else on the image so it gives you the effect. I'll move it down here because the, uh, the roof line would be a little bit different. Go to my rotation tool once again and give it a bit of a rotation like so and hit OK. Now I go to my filters and repeat the drop shadow once again. Now it's just a matter of swinging backwards and forwards. Uh, doing the same format but I'll, I'll call it quits now because I've got four cutouts so I won't go any further I go back into my uh, layer mask activate it and then go to my fuzzy select tool once again this time I ask it to add to the uh, current selections which allows me to add more more and more selections I click in that cutout I click in that cutout this one here and this one over here now I go into my image and I go up to select I invert that selection that puts all the marching ants outside so when I put a, a drop shadow in it'll put it inside those cutouts so I go to filters and just repeat the drop shadow then I go up to select and select none now that's given that effect of uh, a cutout with a bit of a drop shadow in the background which gives you the, the, the impression that it's been pulled out of the puzzle or you're putting it together. So it doesn't matter where you are on this uh, on the layers, just right click on the top layer and flatten images, it brings it all down into one. And that's our job completed. You can see there now you've got the white cutout in the background of the jigsaw puzzle of the image. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, rate my video and click on my channel and you'll find a link to the website where this is all laid out in a PDF format so it makes it a little bit easier to, to follow. Uh, it's a lot of uh, swinging backwards and forwards and doing the same thing, repeating over and over again. Thank you for watching.